Hey guys, what's up? Jason the Redhead Henry here, and today I'm going to be doing another side tutorial for you guys. I think this is 5.5 now, um, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to export out your animations uh, from After Effects and get them uploaded and ready uh, to be put on YouTube. So I've actually been getting a lot of comments and a lot of uh, a hell of a lot of messages on how to go about doing this. So I'm going to be showing you guys the settings that I use. Uh, to go about doing that. So I'm going to be using this uh, uh, animation that we created from last time. So if you want to go ahead and follow along, then that would be awesome. So once you're done with your animation, the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, go up to Composition and go uh, click on this Add to Render queue. So what that does, whoops, that was from last time. What that does is uh, it adds your main composition to the render queue so it's ready to be uh, rendered out. So we're just going to mess with the settings for this. So under this render settings where it says best settings, you're just going to click that. And you're going to get this little uh, pop-up box here. So what you're going to want to do here is just change the quality to current, the resolution to current, and the disk cache to current. Now the reason that we're changing these settings uh, to cur or, or these uh, options to current settings is because if we don't do that then Goku and Vegeta won't come out looking all nice and crisp and pixelated here because you'll remember that we wanted them we want them to come out looking like that and the reason is because we we checked that you remember that solid line we made it a dotted line it's really just the wireframe option we want them to come out looking like that we don't want them to come out looking blurry so that's why we check these settings here if you don't check these settings here as current settings for these three then, uh, then they won't come out looking uh, all nice and crisp. So once you're done with that, you're just going to say OK. Next, you're going to come down here to this output module. And where it says lossless, you're just going to click that. So we'll go through this two times. So for this first time, I'm going to show you guys how to do this, uh, export this as a Windows media file. The next time around, we'll do it as an H.264. So usually what I do is if I'm not uploading any videos in HD, I'll do it as a Windows media file. Sometimes I'll do it, if it's a 720p, then I'll do it maybe sometimes as a Windows media. But if you're uploading anything in either 720p or uh, 1080p, then definitely you're going to want to choose H.264. And I'll show you guys the settings for that in a little bit. So for the purpose of this... Um, first time around, because our composition in, isn't an HD composition, you're going to want to uh, just choose Windows Media. Now you can, if you want, click the resize button, and you know our current composition set or er, dimensions are 640 by 360. So if you wanted to, you could bump this up and make it a uh, a 1920 by 1080. So that's 1080p. You could make it HD, but you're going to lose quality for that. So I wouldn't recommend doing this resize thing unless you you know you've already done your animation in like a low resolution, and you're like, oh crap, I wanted to make it you know, something, a different size or something, you're going to lose quality, but, I mean, that's fine. So, we're actually not going to resize this, okay? So make sure that's unchecked. You, I usually don't resize my videos. Um, if, I'm, if I want a video to be in H HD, I'll just start it off by making the composition uh, 1920 by 1080 or uh, 1080 by 720. So those are your settings for, um, for HD. But since this is going to be a low-res video, um, you're just going to want to have it as a 640 by 360. Okay, so make sure that's not checked. Um, next, you're going to want to click on this format options right here. You're going to want to make sure that your maximum bit rate is up to 10,000, so that's all the way at the end here, and your image quality is all the way at 100%. And then just say OK. <clears throat> After that, uh, you're going to want to click here on this audio output, and then you're just going to click on format options, and uh, I like my audio to be, you know, decent, but not ridiculously uh, huge. <laughs> and I say that because the audio can take up a lot or make your, your video file uh, size really huge. So we're just going to choose uh, something a little bit uh, not, as, uh, not as big here. So we're just going to say, I usually would put this at 160. Um, sometimes if I'm doing a video uh, where I really want the audio to stand out, I'll go 192, the highest 192. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we'll just do it as the, the highest 160. So go ahead and click that. And uh, make sure that you choose Windows Media Audio 10 Professional here. So you choose that, and then you'll choose the 160 from here. Then just say OK. And uh, once you're done with that, just say OK. And then right here where it says Output to, 
Um, go ahead and click that main comp, and then you're just going to want to choose where you want your uh, file to output to. So uh, I'm just going to go with wherever this is going. I'm going to delete that because I was there from last time. So yes, yeah, so I'm going to save it there. And once you're done with all that, you're just going to simply click on this little button right here that says Render. And then you see right here it's building it out. And then when it's done, you'll hear this little chime. But uh, you guys probably won't hear it because I'm not... This audio from my computer isn't recording properly. So... Um, so yeah, once that, and then that's pretty much it. You're done, and then your video is ready to be uploaded. You just go to that file and upload it to YouTube. Now, let's. Uh, I, I kind of want to explain this a little bit better because I don't want you guys to get confused on this. So composition, new composition, 1920 by 1080. So if I'm starting a new animation and I want it to be 1080p, these are the settings that I'm going to want to use: 1920 by 1080. If you want it to be 720p then you're going to want your width to be 1080 and your height to be 720. I actually have a preset for that right here. Oh, I'm sorry, not 1080, it's uh, 1280. Um, and then frame rate 30 and duration, you can make it whatever you want. So let's just say okay, okay? So now we have this new composition and we'll, you know, we'll animate, we'll have whatever our animation is. And then when you're done, you go up to composition, add to render queue. Let's delete this one from last time. Set everything to current, say OK, output module, lossless, and then you'll choose H.264. Now the trick is here with H.264 under the format options, you're going to want to make sure that um, you check CBR and you're going to want to have it around uh, 4 to 6. So right now mine's at 4, you can slide this up around 6. If anywhere past 6, I found that it's just really kind of a waste. I mean, 6 looks really good, but I mean, it, it just really starts to take up a lot of, uh, of uh, your video files start to become massive at that point. So I like to keep it somewhere around 4 or 6. So you're just going to say OK. And uh, audio output, just click format options. I mean, you usually just keep these the same. Codec AAC. Audio quality, obviously you want it on high. Uh, bit rate, choose 128. I like to go with 160 and uh, make sure that it's at a advanced settings is on bit rate. Say OK. And then you'd say OK. And then uh, you would just render it out. Now that's it. those settings are only if you're doing this in a in a HD settings. So that's pretty much it. All I have for this tutorial. I'll list out all the settings in the description of this video so you guys have all that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, next time I will be doing a, uh, the next tutorial will, again, be continuing on fighting. And um, I'll be showing you guys some tricks, actually, on what you can do for, um, uh, usually, uh, I, d I don't like to do it that much, but I'll show you really quick. You see how everything's kind of like a stepping stone here? And it kind of starts taking up space. Well, since Goku and Vegeta are both, you know, pixelated and they're kind of doing this fighting thing, if you want them to save space here, you can uh, select all these layers, all the Goku and Vegeta layers, and uh, go up to Layer, Pre-Compose, and we'll just call this Goku Vegeta Fight, and you're going to want to make sure that you move all attributes into the new composition, and say OK. So what that does is, it creates a new composition with the layers that we just had. So we just took all those layers and merged it into essentially one layer or one composition. And uh, yeah, it starts to save space. So I'll, I mean, I'll get into that next time, but I just wanted to show you guys really quick what I was talking about. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.